second person I have on public comment is Mr. Henry McClure. If that mayor doesn't make eye contact, I'm going to be angry. Your Honor, let's pick up where uh, Chuck Doltmeyer left off. Thanks for looking at me. Appreciate it. I'm addressing you. Um, Chuck Doltmeyer did a really good job pointing out um, probably what it gets back to is archaic ways developers are treated in the community. But fast forward, uh, there was only one thing that he said that I didn't buy and I clarified it, that uh, the communication between him and uh, the owner of all the lots. So I called the guy that owned all the lots and I called them and I tried to broker a deal and, and uh, Jim was willing to meet with Chuck and I think time had marched on and Chuck had some resentments and just didn't feel like anything would ever come from the meeting. So, um, but what was mind blowing was the ability to, that he did with the McGivern. And McGivern was in the same position as the other fella and the lots got developed. The, um, the numbers there are astounding, the 6.5 million. And one, one thing that really worries me, it's like the longer some, we say something's gonna happen, it doesn't happen, it's never gonna happen. It's like growing the population of our town. But um, if you go back to some of his comments that he made, and uh, I've never understood how anybody could get future projects when you owe taxes on a other project. And it appears we even have an ordinance against that, but it appears it wasn't being followed at the moment. But the number, the 6.5 million in back taxes, the, uh, the loss of, I think, what was it, 1.2 million in, uh, in the, the lots that were sold at auction. But here's one thing that everybody missed. And this one's the real mystery. How was the industrial revenue bond ever sold to fix the dam? And then specials put on lots that owed taxes for five years. Now, if this, I will be making a core request about that to the city and to the county. But so let's think about that right now. We're subsidizing the people that live around that little lake because the developer who was all angry broke the dam as he left town. So uh, they were able to get an industrial revenue bond passed, put specials on the lots, but how could you legally put specials on lots that owe taxes? for five years. So that is the biggest mystery out of this whole thing. And uh, well, I sure like to know more about it. The industrial revenue bond that was uh, built for the dam and how could you legally, I mean, just as a business decision, hey, I'm not, I'm not putting specials on that lot. They paid in five years. Who's making these decisions? And how could it be legal? I appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. It's a cold world.